Hello, this is Wayne from GSG, coming to you loud and proud from Houston, Texas, and we are on Crash Landed Season 3, Episode 2. And the group is just barely getting settled into the Alamo, and we are going to break to the action with Sean. Alright, Lily, let Reese know that uh, Braden and I pretty much got all the area secured exactly like Reese had asked for, and they had these uh, local people. He wanted me to check out something about an infestation in the area. I scouted the area, and I I did happen to spot a black army SUV about two blocks over, kind of northeast of here. So make sure Reese knows. Um, he may want to go check that out. So I will. Be in contact through the radio, and then I will come back and give you guys a report on what I think about these neighbors. Freaking, I guess all this is pretty damn secure. Man, you set up in the middle of a damn town, even a little small town like this, these people, at least they smart enough not to come in gunshot range, that's for sure. Let's see what the hell they want. Howdy folks, Abigail. Kilo, name's Sean. What can I Would help sure you like guys help with? Taking out this infestation? All Just right. lead the way. Let's do this thing, bruh. Lead the way. Where the hell is the infestation? Well, we're on foot, boys, because I'm not moving any of my barricade. What? Y'all know where another SUV is. Oh, down that other dirt road? Well, that's all good and fine, but it's pretty damn hard to drive to this little spot anyway. Hell, they got another car right there, too, but it's only a two-seater. <laughs> come on. Let's come take care of this infestation. Damn, I'm tired. I don't want to run that way. I already fell off a damn roof recently. I don't need to uh, go breaking my damn leg. <laughs> seen you guys around here before the hell y'all live at y'all seen that black army SUV I see you wearing some military clothes now, I ain't happen to see some guy named Omar have you Quentin Barnes yeah it's two of our people it's from our group that's gone missing Damn, you call this an infestation? You see the Zeds up there? <laughs> yeah, I see the Zeds are dead already. Damn, them people sure ain't have no damn problem hauling ass. ideas for how to improve this place. We need some more sleeping space. People are already sharing beds and shifts. Well, they're gonna have to share beds and shifts, Lily. Now I've drawn up some basic plans, but we'll want to get on this in a hurry. People are already talking about leaving. Hey, Lily, when the hell you got time to draw up plans? <laughs> She can sit in there and listen to that damn radio all she wants. I had all my 
my days of damn radio watch, I'm gonna freaking do. I'd rather be out here cracking these damn heads any day of the week. Yeah, what's up, folks? Y'all didn't think I was watching where y'all went, huh? Who else y'all hiding up in here? Y'all got somebody else around here? It's just the two of y'all. Right down the damn road, I can almost see their front door from the Alamo. That's a good Things spot to have. Things are getting pretty hairy out there. You may need to hurry. Yep, that damn SUV is still sitting down there. We keeping an eye on them. They keeping an eye on us. Part still. Guess me and Brayden gonna go finish uh anything at home I should be up about? our camp securing Looks this like area. Have an issue in the kitchen. Damn it, Reese. Things are going our way. What kind of problem are you know. having in it's the kitchen? Something satisfying about building. Feels like we're accomplishing stuff instead of just treading water. We need a cheese grater. All right, well, me and Braden will go see if we can do that, but uh, I just met this guy, Kilo. Looks like uh, he just has one woman with him unless they got someone else prowling around. Black Army SUV still right around the corner. Me and Braden going to head out and uh, go procure us a vehicle. Come on, Braden. Ah, come on. Let's go. Quit moping around. I need your help. Happy to help. Come on, buddy. It's cardio time. Zombies up ahead. Go through or go around. <coughs> oh, damn. <coughs> Thanks for saving me there, Brayden. Yo, man, we got 15 damn vehicles back at the Alamo. Why the hell are we so damn dead set calling this the last stand? Some damn American history lesson or some crap. Man, don't he know all them damn people at the Alamo died? Huh? Come on, man, why are you running so damn fast? I can't keep up with you. Look, Braden, just be the hell quiet. You see that juggernaut over there? You feel like fighting a juggernaut right now, or you feel like helping me get this damn SUV I found? Heads up. You got zombies coming in. I don't know what kind of damn... Oh. All right, you see that, bro? Hang around me, Braden. I'm going to teach you some stuff. Better get ready. We'll be on them soon if we keep going this way. Hell, ain't no point being quiet. Don't look like there's anything more than we can't handle. We're going to take care of this gas bag. Got a little on you. Yeah, I think I did. Alright, let's pilfer through these bags right here. Oh, hell yeah. Found us some damn medicine. 
Uh, I hear Zombies something. coming up behind us. Damn, I got another one over here. Damn, it seems like freaking for every one of these damn things we kill, ten more of them show up. Alright, well we got other business to attend to, so we're going to try to get somebody out here. I don't even know who the hell's available. Chris? Damn it, what the hell? What's wrong with this zipper in this bag? I don't want that damn backpack. I'm sure Chris would be delighted to have these meds. He can come pick them up. Alright, well y'all please quit bugging me for about five minutes. Well, you ain't never gonna get five minutes in the damn Found apocalypse. Supplies. Send runners for pickup. I'll get people moved. Sit tight. Yeah. I'm bringing this stuff home. You do that, Roger girlfriend. That. We'll be waiting. Alright, come on, Braden. Philly is up in the tower, so I'm sure it's gonna be Chris. Hell ain't gonna leave this behind, so Chris has to deal with it. You are untouchable out there. Alright, come on. Your running time's over with, at least for a short time there, Braden. Yo, I appreciate that, dog. You know Reese be on me about that crap. We gonna stop here and here. And see what the hell this vehicle's Heads parked up. here for. Got zombies coming in. Yep. This look exactly like that one I freaking wrecked. I'm sure they heard us drive up if they seen us, but come on, let's sneak around back. It seemed pretty quiet to me, doesn't it to you? Oh damn, I don't know who the hell would even want to live in here. The back door is freaking broke in. Might want to take a detour. Hell, there ain't nobody in here. What the hell are we looking for? Oh, a cheese grater it's for up. Reese, huh? Zombies coming in. Maybe they got one on this shelf. Sweet, bro. Awesome. Oh, hell yeah. That equates to some good grub from Reese. And not much else. Come on, we'll bring Reese this, uh... Go through it, boy. <laughs> Stealthy and stealthy and sneaking up on people and these damn Zed sneaking up on us. Alright, well, we can't exactly see that black SUV from our house, but uh, we at least know where it's at. How's it going? I'm almost there. All 
All right, Reese, my man, here's your cheese grater. Scratch that off the wish list. All right, come on, my man. Let's go do this. Let's go take care of this last little thing here. And then I believe... Oh, I don't know why the hell I freaking do that every time. Things look pretty bleak, huh? Well, not exactly seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, come on. It'll turn around. Just have a little faith. Yeah? Well, faith's not exactly my strong suit. Damn, I'm tired. Zombies on our six. Stay alert. Come on, Brayden. Hustle up. Seems like the safer okay. we try to make now our place. The more unsafe it gets. Heads up. We got zombies coming in. Yep, dude, even I miss sometimes. You ready? Let's do this. Better look around. Damn it. This making you feel any better? I don't know. Maybe. Lead the way. Let's do this thing, bruh. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Crowbar will give me an excuse to go over there and talk to the neighbors. <clears throat> so what you think, man? I think my ass ready to get back home. See if I can get me a nap. That's pretty funny, Braden. He no reason to let you take no damn nap. You did good. I know things look pretty bleak, but just try to remember everybody's here for you. I guess so. Maybe. I know Reese could be pissed off somebody. I'm almost there. Took his truck. Look, so it I'll might think be about Reese. What you said, okay? I'm glad. Everybody got some damn coffee like made up in here. Lily, you heard anything else from these neighbors? I'm hearing reports about some trapped survivors. They're in a tough spot. Can you give them an escort? Why the hell did freaking Reese go after that crap? What's Christopher doing? You up there playing around with his forceps? Damn it, I sure as hell can't have the freaking boss in trouble. Come over here and chat with these freaking neighbors. Bring them a crowbar. Be all friendly. We need to get out of here. It's too late to run. We'll have to stand and fight. Damn 
Damn, Reese, what the hell are you Stay doing sharp. over here? This ain't over. Of course we're awesome. I'm on the job. <clears throat> I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Damn, this place sure seems eerily quiet. We're in freaking Spencer's Mill. No dice. All you ever heard was the damn zombies moaning all freaking night long. This place definitely got a hell of a lot of zombies around, but... It's just too damn creepy for me. Where the hell are these neighbors at? Oh, they on the back street. We could probably beef up our defenses. Just to be safe. We might want to set up a few more outposts. Damn, Lily, you should have been a rocket scientist. That's exactly what I'm in the process of doing. Me and Sean, I mean, me and Braden been busting our ass all afternoon. Hey, how's it going? It's going, buddy. I brought y'all a little crowbar. And how's it going over here? It's just the two of y'all over here? It ought to be pretty scary with just the two of y'all over here. Y'all let me know if y'all need anything. Damn, I got damn fat boys everywhere around here. Scrounge around this damn construction site since I'm in the area. Damn, I'll we, we got old we'll Tex and his gang at the Jurassic Junction. This dude, Kilo, here. There's definitely no shortage of you damn army some bitches around here. I'm in position. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Alright, Reese, you hurry up and do that and get the hell back home. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll I've had there. just about all I can do for a day. not be much over here but how's it going I'm almost there we got we'll us a little setup for you there you go freaking say I never had gave some you damn up. words with freaking Chris here we still got some stuff to take care of out there you may need to hurry finally things are going our way I don't scratch know. that off the wish list Feels like we're actually accomplishing stuff instead yeah, of Yeah, what the hell exactly do you feel like you're accomplishing? I know I don't feel like I'm accomplishing a damn thing. Nothing else on the radio, Lily? I guess the closest one will get the priority. I gotta tell Reese about this whoever the hell up at the fairgrounds. There's some trouble we might want to look into. Lily, 
why is someone always pissed off at camp doing everything I can freaking breathe out scrounging up freaking materials that Christopher should have just went and got his damn self now I gotta wait on him to freaking get back so I can before I can tell him about somebody up at the fairgrounds and see if he wants to go check it out you need Claire I'm not gonna let's do this quietly okay this is looking good yeah I'm sure it is where you live at? I guess I'll find out. I bet you live with that army guy. Ready to move. That other woman. Let's do this thing, bro. Heads up, zombies on our left. Damn, girl. It's time to get the hell out of here. Keep an eye on our six. Come on, jump in the truck. Come on, girl. We ain't got time to play wrestling match. Where the hell you live at? It's just what I thought. I knew they had a damn third person in their camp. Jesus, you going for the record? Damn straight, I'm going for the record. We don't ever leave a horde behind. All right, so this army dude got two women up in his camp, and they could be undercover. They could just be civilians. It's easy to spot it's a done. civilian. This is for you. You earned it. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. Damn, I'm tired. I sure as hell hope Reese is back. Tower and see if I can okay. see them people. I'm free and clear. See you soon. I want Got somebody keeping an eye on them. I'll show you when I get there. 24-7. Found this while I was out. My hero. Reese made it back yet? I know whatever the hell he's cooking sure smells good. Who the hell needs talking to now? Ophelia. I guess I'll go talk to Let's Ophelia. Then. That done. Hey, Reese. Checked out this uh, people living on the back corner, close to where that army SUV is, if you know what I'm saying. Um, Son of a bitch. Can't trust anybody to know this shit around here these days. Yeah, roger that. Maybe if we weren't down to an expired bottle of baby aspirin and a case of cough syrup, we wouldn't have so many sick people. Yeah, Chris, you always bitching about something. But, uh, Reese, talk to these people over there. Went and helped them on a clear little infestation. There wasn't even nothing to it. Two of them could have easily handled that themselves. So I don't know if they feeling us out. We're feeling them out. 
Yeah, I know all this giving you a damn headache. It's giving me a headache as well, but... Uh, another thing, Lily intercepted a radio message and there's someone up at the fairgrounds asking for help. Want to send Braden up there or what? Alright, well let's sit down and eat us a damn uh, meal you cooked up here and we'll discuss this over some good vittles and then uh, we'll determine if we're going to send Braden up there or not. Alright. All right, we'll decide that soon. See y'all soon. going back home? There's an issue with the infirmary. I know we wanted to make some improvements, but we're missing a few things. We can track it down or find another way, but it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. All right, Lily. You thought you had the final word. See y'all soon. <laughs> <laughs>